I was even expecting maybe 100 million air bill because it has always been like that. Because from my own point of view, we can't get justice from them. There are nobody in the country whereby judge are protesting for salary. In a country whereby everybody sees nothing is working. In a country whereby the president is not even working itself. I don't even know if Nigeria has president or not. And they are here, Grand Shawere, who, who has not done anything just to protest. Is protest supposed to be an error or what? The 20 million era bill. Concerning the 20 million era bill uh, granted with uh, for Shawere, all I want to say is, uh, you know, we are not surprised at all. You know, it is their usual pattern. Uh, they, this is what they do. We are even actually expecting more stringent conditions. But then uh, my message goes to every revolutionary lawyer out there. They should all know that uh, this judiciary has been taken over by the executive. So it is their duty to actually uh, free Nigerian judiciary. So I'm calling on every revolutionary lawyer out there that the, 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 the job to liberate the judiciary, not even Nigeria now, because we have to liberate our judiciary because uh, they are accomplice to the oppression we are facing right now. So I'm calling on every revolutionary lawyer out there to call their magistrates, to call their judges to order, because uh, this nonsense can't continue uh, in the same environment that we have. So I'm calling on uh, every well meaningful Nigerians to call on the Nigerian government to free Show right now, to free Juwan now, to free Kremere now, and to free Peter and Adenala now. Uh, concerning the 20 million naira bill, it is normal. It is which is not normal but it is the normal for the for the injustices that has been happening so now because a lot of um uh, people that are that are there that are supposed to be released because they don't want uh, peaceful protest they don't want people to be they see protesters as um, um they're like transgressors people that are always on their on their will so and it is not that because everybody has a voice to speak to tyranny to speak against anything that is ills to the society so now we are not getting justice the court is like the court has been bought injustice everywhere so everybody all man for himself but right now we have to say we have to speak the truth because the truth for no matter how it works alone it works with nobody it will come out so no matter how the judge the anybody has the power to hold to dispense but i know the truth has its only power to dispense which is the truth that the old nigerians will see sooner or later so my advice is that free show and free other nigerians that are unjustly locked up yeah, the 20 million era bill against um, Shore, for Shore and um, the shorties, the shorties, they said it should be um, level, level 12. We expected that, going by the antecedent of these judges, they, they are the enforcer of executive tyranny. They use remand orders and stringent bill conditions to hold people down. The same magistrates granted Dino Melaye 7 million era bill, not 20 million era. Dino Melaye was charged for um, unlawful possession of firearms and criminal conspiracy. Much more grievous than unlawful assembly. Yet, he was granted a very lenient bill. You understand? So, Nigerians just open their eyes that the bad governance want to end does not stop with police brutality and executive tyranny. The judiciary is the major enforcer. Now, for other other um, victims of injustice, Sonyalu Juo, uh, Kimiri, Peter, and Damilari Adenola, who is a law student, I asked to get um, shorties and one millionaire. You know. These judges will not do that to, these magistrates and judges will not do that to um, big politicians. They only do that to protesters, activists, people who have right to assemble as enshrined in the constitution expressly. But what we get today is another judicial tyranny and we should not, we should not overlook it. We should not overlook it. She has, she has been dribbling, refused to grant bill, asking for um, proper application. And like all our application is not allowed in our courts, you know, we don't know. Different, different courtroom, different sort of 
attitude. So this is what we get today, and we have to move forward and resist judicial tyranny. Uh, concerning the 20 million big condition about Shuri and the rest protesters in Abuja, I'm not surprised. No, I just want Nigerians to know that we all, all, all of us just have to speak out against this injustice because we can uh, with this recent uh, bail condition shows that we can't get justice anywhere. Why the bandits that kill people, the Boko Haram work freely, why innocent uh, citizens are being jailed and uh, by the time it's, uh, it's time for their release, they come, out, uh, come up with a strange uh, bail condition. So I just want to advise Nigerians that this is the time to speak out against this lawlessness and injustice because we can't continue like this as a nation. We can't continue. Let us all wake up with this kind, kind of condition. Um, well, the, the bail condition, to me, is interesting. Uh, people, about five people are arrested and charged with the same offense, for the same uh, offense. Um, the second, third, and fourth, and fifth were given what you call a lesser um, uh, bail conditions of um, just one shorty and a million naira bail bond. Whereas the first, that is uh, Yali Shure, is giving bail of 20 million and two shorties. Generally, given the status of Shure, one could understand. Um, he uh, was a former presidential candidate, he's a leader of a party, he's a leader of a movement and all that. And he has a far higher status, talking politically and socially than the others. As for the amount of money, since it's not bail security, the money to be paid is just that assuming that he absconds or he will not come for his uh, trial, that's when it becomes an issue to forfeit it. But surely, his antecedent does not indicate that it's a flight risk. Uh, in fact, as if a pending court order on him not to leave Abuja, so he's going nowhere. Ordinarily, even with that, he's going nowhere. But he's not a coward, he's not going to run away, he's going to stand for his trial. And then, two shorties, there are things that are, are cruel things like somebody must be a landed owner, property owner, or something, just two shorties. That's simple enough. Uh, not even task receipts and all that. If it's just as you have read, I think that's simply enough. Something that can be fulfilled today uh, by all of them. Uh, one shorty, one million, you sign. If you if this people run, you pay a million naira each. Then this other people, he has enough status to get people. And I know it's going to be easy. Uh, to me, my man, talking realistically as a lawyer, I'm not looking at the amount of money. It's not asked to go and put 20 million naira down. It's just for the shortest to undertake that if he runs away, like me and I did, then this and this will happen. But Shura is going away. I think we, most of all, we are we are now seized of the uh, bail conditions granted to Omoyele Shura and four others as per the charge before them at Wusim Aishe Court 2. I would want to subject the ruling of the court to, uh, you know, a, so a further uh, analysis from the bar or at the outside of face of the, of the court. But in uh, my own considered view, this uh, vis the uh, bay, bay is meant to be to secure the attendance of uh, cancer at all the proceedings of the court. And uh, bay ought to be lenient. I, I am of the view that the cancer to Omo Ilesho Wore will know what to do if his uh, clients are able to meet that bay condition all well and good. If not, then we will now need to think of necessary application to do. But I will want to subject judicial ruling to, to further analysis. So that's just my position for now. But I think the question of uh, promotion of liberty, of fundamental liberties, is now more important. We can't allow the country to degenerate into a dictatorship. Okay, concerning the 20 million never bill granted to by George Bello, and that's very ridiculous. And it was expected though, because um, that's what we've been going through. Um, from the hands of different judges. Um, there was a judge that granted um, protesters and um, bail 
unconditionally and they were filled the same day. But with Judge Bello, our approach to the case has been very, very ridiculous and she has just been trembling everybody. Um, I read one time last week that um, the um, Malami wanted to take over the case and the DG for the state CID. They just be dreaming us and we think all these are just to calm down um, peaceful gathering, peaceful protesters and it's just maybe a way to silent our voices and which we will never contain because we have been oppressed enough, we have been overruled and we can't take this anymore. We can't